I'm hoping he gets 10%. I'm rooting for 10%. I, uh, I'd love for him to win, but, you know, we're trying. We're, we're going all out to win, but, you know, 10% would be good. We get um, uh, major party status. Debate in the, when you have three candidates and only have two of them. What you are having is a closed, corporately run affair. And I want to say this to Mark Warner and to Ed Kalevsky. When you say you will not debate if Robert Sarvis comes to the debate, you are showing the maturity of a child who has the baseball and says, I'm taking my ball and go home if you let Johnny play. And we need more from that. And please tell me, other two candidates, how you are going to face the difficult challenges of the U.S. Senate when you're afraid to even face a challenge of meeting you, all your opponents face to face. Uh, well, once the polls uh, come in, I'm hoping the numbers come up a little bit. They're above what we realistically expected, but obviously well below what we had hoped for. Well, we've been building on uh, the momentum from last year, and I think what we've proven is there is enough support out there. What we're going to have to do is get people to get out of that fear-based voting. We're still seeing a lot of that, I'm voting for one side because I'm scared the other will win, even though I identify with you more. And as soon as we can break that hold, you're going to see a surge of libertarian voters. I think, I think the Libertarian Party was represented well. I think that there are some opportunities for uh, the party itself to change how we address elections in general. The idea that we're trying to build the party itself is excellent, but I really think that we need to get behind a few solid candidates and get them in our office.